Hey guys, uh, I'm doing some training with university and I came across a common thread uh, or something that I found in just about every model I received. And it's to do with model bloat or the slowness of your 3D software. Uh, it's to do with not being able to transfer files, upload them, you know, with uh, files that have maximum file size limits. and. I'm gonna talk about that, I'm gonna try and get through it efficiently so I can tell you why it happens and how to fix it. So first things first, I'm gonna look at a model that I've actually got done here before and let's have a quick look. Uh, so here I have a model. If I, It's reasonably detailed, you can see there's plants in it, it has a whole heap of you know items in there. If we walk through, the sinks are in there, the taps are in there, uh, everything's inside of this model, including the structure. The shadows are on at the moment, so it's actually running a little bit slower, and that's a, a good tip if you have your shadows turned on. Uh, you'll notice that, I'll see if I can grab that, <coughs> excuse me, that the, the doors took a little bit longer to open. So essentially, turning your shadows on and off will help with model lag, but it's not the main reason why models lag. Essentially, what happens is, is that if these components here are very high in poly count, which is the number of lines that the polygons that actually go together to put a model together. So if I went view hidden geometry here, you'll notice that this lounge has very few lines to make a curve. And I'm going to give you some examples of how you'll find model bloat comes into your model, but it's not just about the number of lines, it's also about the size of texture. Now, guys, as I said, it's a detailed model. Let's have a look at what size it is. If I go File and Save As, uh, it's going to tell us what is it, Anand Grove here. The model is 26 megabytes. Now, in SketchUp 2020, that would have probably been 40 megabytes. So they have made a lot of improvements in SketchUp. I'm not sure if Rev and Archicad have done a similar thing, but reducing file size has, has been uh, handled quite well. So if you're getting a model that's lagging in SketchUp 21, uh, there's an, an issue with that. So now I have a model and we can see the size of that model. If I actually went, and I think the most common error that people make is actually downloading uh, components or textures that are too high in resolution. So let's see if we can have a quick look at that. Uh, as you can see, I overload my computer. I load it up big time with heaps of things open. I, I run it at you know, full capacity, and it's not a high-spec computer. It's about $1,600 computer. I hope that means something to you. Now, inside of here, I'm, I'm in 3D Warehouse now. I'm in all categories, and I've written in tap. Now, file size, if I actually move this slider to the left, it's going to filter the files by the size. So that means that this simple little tap is actually large. And if we click on it, you'll see it says 27 megabytes here. If I download this 27 megabyte file, and I bring it into my whole file. Uh, this might give you an idea. Go save, force it, and here we go. Notice it's downloading. I've got down the bottom 27 megabytes. I'm going to stick it into my model. Now, let's see where that goes. It could be anywhere. Do you know what? It's really hard, and sometimes it's a good idea to actually uh, open the model from its location when it was downloaded. But Okay, I can't see the file there. I don't know where it is. There it is. It actually has turned up. Let's have a look at this file. Now, this little tap or faucet is actually larger than the whole model. And I'm actually starting to get SketchUp starting to groan a little bit already because I've imported this model. Classic example of how to ruin a project. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that this is high in poly count or polygons. It may mean that the texture associated with the file is actually um, larger itself. It might have been taken with an SLR camera at full resolution. I don't know what the problem is, but I know one thing. You can see that I've shut down a model that was running fluidly with everything in by putting one simple tap in it. Um, so let's go and have a look at, okay, so it's come good now. Let's have a look at the number of lines in it. So view hidden geometry. Wow. It's so hard to even navigate with this in here now because it's cutting the model to part. So it's not necessary to have this amount of geometry in it. And I think this is something that um, product manufacturers that are trying to sell their product via 3D need to take into account because I can't run this model like this. 
Now, here's the next issue is that if I actually go and delete this file, and I just go basically go uh, delete, guess what? The model is still heavy. So if I went file and save as, and we'll just call this test, and go save, let's see if the model size has increased. Notice how long it's taking to save. It'll be an interesting little exercise. I haven't actually done it before for a while, but I'm pretty sure I know what's going to happen. So I'm going to go file and save as test. All right, if I'm looking for my test, I'm at 54 megabytes. I doubled the size of the model by putting one tap in there. Now this is not the only way you can ruin a model. There's another way that you can do it, and that's by the image size. So I'm going to quickly explain that. You'll notice that the flooring that I've used here is a, uh, it's a timber texture. However, when I actually start to scroll in and get close to it, it's kind of pixelated, but we don't look at floors that close anyway, so it's not really a concern, right? We would probably look at a floor from, say, here. Or these uh, stone over here, or these bricks. The closer I get into them, they're slightly pixelated. Basically, it meant when I put the texture into uh, the 3D software, I reduce the size of it by simply reducing the resolution of the photograph. And I, I use a program called Fast Home Capture. You can use whatever it is, but I just reduce the amount of pixels in it. Because if a client wants to look at things that close, fine, we'll draw the fireplace in a different model, uh, or we'll, we'll draw the tap in a different model. So what I'm gonna do, guys, is just quickly blast back and see if I can uh, show you another uh, instance. So before I do that, if I need to get rid of the tap out of this model, if I go inside a plus design build, we have a purge tool built in. If I click it, it allows us to purge or clean up any deleted components or materials or styles that we might use. It also allows us to make a report and there's also a temporary file. So first you always go okay on the first one. It's gonna give us a report of what it's deleted. Give it a second, because that model is in there, and as you can see, it's slowing me down as well while I'm doing a tutorial. So it's not ideal. There we go, 81 components. So basically inside of that faucet that I put in, it probably had spindles, it probably had a washer, it probably had a whole lot of unnecessary information for this particular instance of work. However, if I was building the tap, I need all of that information. So there's a reason why high poly content is on 3D Warehouse. Um, uh, and there's 22 materials in it. I'm not sure what the problem is, but I know when I go file save as, I'll be back to my original file size, and now my model runs efficiently, right? My doors will open and close very, very quickly, and I can upload this file and share it by email, in many cases, with 25 meg or whatever it was. So there's one uh, situation. I'm just gonna see if I can open another model here. Okay, so I downloaded these four tiles from 3D Warehouse. Now. The company that's created these has done a lovely job of photography, but when we're modeling, we don't really, we're not going to go in here and go, oh, there's a little grain in there, you know, back when the cavemen were around. I don't care. If I'm gonna render it, even still, I think this is too high, but if I went and said, copy these um, files out, I'm gonna go Control C. I'll just see if I've got maybe something a little bit easier to deal with here. Uh, what have we got? Okay, I have a little bathroom. Uh, file, uh, save that, just so you can see the file size of the bathroom. Uh, I'm gonna call it delete. Go save. Very quickly saved, file, save as. Uh, and I should have delete here, I think, there it is. Okay, so I actually was doing something before and I haven't purged it, right? If uh, I had purged that, it's going to reduce the model size significantly. So probably not a great example, but if I go Control V and put these tiles in here, see how long it's taking just to paste that, those four tiles in. Now, physical size has no bearing on the weight of the model. Obviously you can see that this manufacturer has actually created tiles, uh, maybe in another software at a different scale, I'm not too sure. But at the end of the day, what what is is weight here? And let's have a quick look. So if I look at it in lines, I really just have you know one, two, three, four, five, six faces, uh, seven faces times four, right? That's that's not the size of the geometry. So if I scale this down to probably closer to what it was supposed to be, 
uh, and I go back and look at it here, the model is still the same size. The physical size of the model wasn't actually creating an issue. It's the size of the image inside of it. So if I actually said, oh, right, oh, well, let's have a look. Uh, if I use my materials here and I go select and then I click on it, it'll take a second, it's called material number three. If I just go through and delete these tiles, I haven't solved the problem because it's sitting in the back end of my model. So if I go delete, I still have the problem. It's sitting in the back end. I need to go through and purge it. Now you can purge components with the plus design build or plus big tools uh, and do it. And you'll notice that the material is actually still sitting there. I can, I, I'm not sure why, but if I said, let's go and purge the material here, it's actually purged. So SketchUp considers it purged as well. So you may have to go right click and delete and go yes. And now I've got rid of the size inside of there. I'll run another quick purge. Okay. And away we go. There's one more thing guys that, that can actually hold you up. So materials, big issue. Um, keep an eye on them. Keep an eye on whatever you put in your model. And, and polygon count is huge. But there is one other thing that can happen. And let's see if I've got something here. We looked at those. Okay. When you're importing CAD files, now this one's actually pretty light, uh, it's, it's quite good, but when you're importing CAD files, sometimes you'll find that inside of, of here that we have hundreds of individual lines. That can also create a problem. This one isn't too bad. Uh, if you ever wanted to know if, how many lines are in a curve, you can actually go to your styles, uh, I think it's styles, edit uh, and turn my endpoints on endpoints right and you'll notice how many actual endpoints are in there so it's a fair bit but you'll get away with that resolution SketchUp handles that fine but if you've brought in a huge you know a1 sheet with multiple lines you could find that will slow you down and I have come across that before on large projects in you know 20 30 million dollar projects that the amount of poly inside of uh, or polygons inside of the DWG has actually slowed down the model. At the end of the day, guys, this is workflow. How do we make our jobs easier so we can get it done? And everything uh, that we do is according to the size. So if we're gonna render up a little model about this big and we wanted to see every grain of sand, we need that high um, poly content. We need the high resolution images. However, if you're, you're BIM modeling and you're showing clients and creating plans, you don't need any of that stuff. And it's the biggest issue that I see out of all um, in, in CAD software. Uh, so guys, hopefully this helps you. The next thing is uh, if you're actually putting photo images inside of, I'll just quickly touch on this one here. Uh, you'll notice that I've got a specification inside of my model uh, and it's just telling me what the finishes are and so on. Same thing, if you put in high resolution images here, you're gonna have a similar issue. You'll notice if I zoom into this model, same thing. I, I've paid attention to all of my images inside of it. Uh, and one last, okay. If you're putting in high resolution aerial imagery, if you're using near maps via uh, the, the Plus Design Build or via the SketchUp um, plugin to bring it in, it's actually pretty good. So if we had a quick look at this, view poly, uh, view hidden geometry, you know what, it's actually not too bad. This whole model is like 15 meg and it's sitting on, you know, 25 acres of land. It runs efficiently, it works the way that it should. Uh, I think you'll find that uh, using new maps is fine, but if you're going using maybe other um, modeling software or bringing in uh, 3D DWGs with contours, you could find that that will slow you down. Uh, one last thing guys, if you are just BIM modeling and you're not into rendering and so on, uh, we actually created our own library to solve this problem for a lot of people. And let's see if I can just get that. Uh, I think it's here. Control tab. I might have closed it, I think, maybe. We've created a library as well. It is directly inside of Plus Design Build. Um, it's actually where my 3D drawing was. Uh, so if you look up BIM bits, here, I think it is here, okay. Every single model uh, in this library uh, actually is has been created, so it will quantify. You can find out where the product comes from, but you're guaranteed for not to slow down your model. And whether you're using Revit, Archicad, or SketchUp, uh, we have parametric content inside of there. 
and there's thousands and thousands and thousands of models. This is the way to keep your model running smooth if you're not into rendering small little things. All right, guys, I hope it helps out. If you've got any questions, ask them below. Cheers.